Hello and welcome to All Saints Temple Virtual Worship. Happy Sunday, everyone. We are so happy to have you here with us, worshiping the Lord and the beauty of holiness. We're going to bow our heads for a word of prayer. Kind Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this Sunday that you've given us, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for our family, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for the saints of God, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for our church families, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we ask, Lord, a special prayer for all of those who are tuning in, O oh God. We ask, Lord, that you touch them in a mighty way, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for this mini ministry, All Saints Temple, virtual worship, O oh God. We ask, Lord, that you touch it in a mighty way, O oh God. We ask, Lord, that you just bless everyone, Lord, that has tuned in today, O oh God, and we thank you for all that you're doing and all that you're going to continue to do for us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Well, happy Sunday, and thank you again for tuning in to All Saints Temple Virtual Worship. We're going to go ahead into our praise and worship, and we ask that you join along with us so we can worship the Lord. Amen. Together. Amen.
exalt your holy name. We owe you the glory and the honor and the praise in a day when God, you went to Calvary. You saved the rest. Exalt him and we give him the highest praise. At this time, we're turning to the hands of our pastor, Pastor Wilbur Allen III. We praise God for our First Lady Asha Allen and the selection in which she has provided for us. Now we're going to go into the ministry of giving. There are two ways in which you can forward your offering and your tithe to All Saints. First, there is Giveify. There is a link on this post, and if you tap it, it would take you to the All Saints. Giveify page. Secondly, we have Cash App, all dollar sign, All Saints 1979. That's correct. Dollar sign, All Saints 1979. And we are appreciative of your givings to the All Saints ministry. Therefore, we are able to be the missional and evangelistic church. Now we want to share with you a word, and if you would, if you just pray with me just briefly. God, our Father, it is through you we move and we have our being. We're thankful for this opportunity to share your word. I pray that the word falls upon good ground and through the power of your word, we're able to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. This we pray in your son Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen and amen. Well, we want to share with you a scripture. It's in the book of Hebrews. As a matter of fact, it's just one verse. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, beginning at verse 14. Hebrews 12 and 14. The Bible declares, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. The most interesting scripture, first, the first part of the scripture, it really concentrates on peace with all men. And really this is alluding to the fact as to how important relationships are. Our relationships with our neighbor, with our friends, through peaceful and loving relationships comes community. Now we must, we, we really must take an honest look at our world today. We live in a divided world. We have these different factions across the board. And if you are not in my faction, we have disagreement. And unfortunately, what happens is it has evolved into hate. So if you're not a Republican, if you're not a Democrat, there is friction, there is contention, there is conflict. So conflict is the antithesis of community and I, I tell you if you look at Jesus and he talks about the greatest commandment and that is to love your neighbor as yourself so the scripture is saying follow peace with all men let there be peace let there be love therefore let there be community and then the scripture even goes on to say and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. And so the scripture now talks about the notion of holiness. Why is holiness so important? If you recall in Leviticus the 11th chapter in the 44th verses, the Bible says, God is saying to Israel, be ye holy for I am holy. In order to have a relationship with God, Holiness is a prerequisite because God is already holy. God is the standard of holiness. So in order to enter into a relationship with God, 
we must be holy. We must embrace sanctification. We must be clean. We must live clean lives, holy lives before the Lord. Therefore, relationship with the divine God is possible. I know many do not like the notion of holiness, but I tell you, if you want to have a true relationship, harmony, peace with the God of the Bible, each and every one of us, we must be holy. Very interesting notion. Follow peace with all men. Relationship, love, community, and then relationship with God by way of holiness. So I tell you, let us pursue holiness. Let us try to, let us love our neighbor. Let us respect our brother in spite of their views, in spite of what faction or group there might be a part of. Love transcends these divisions. Conflict, confusion comes to destroy community. So let us embrace relationship with our neighbor and with God of the Bible. Well, I pray that you were blessed by that. And really, if you want to have, if you want to have that relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, if you just pray this simple prayer, I believe that you will be saved. Pray this prayer with me. Put your hand on your handheld device. Maybe it's your laptop. Maybe it's your iPad. Pray with me. Our God, I believe, Lord, that you are the Son of the living God. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. And I also believe that, that God the Father raised you from the dead. Therefore, forgive me of my sins. I desire a relationship with you. Give me a new life, a new path. This I pray in your son Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. And I tell you, if you pray that prayer by faith, just like that, you're saved. And now you have a relationship with our Lord and Savior. The relationship can be cultivated. And you can explore the scripture and the Lord will give you insight into his word. Well, I pray that you pursue relationship, peace with all men. Yes. And holiness, which is a prerequisite of a relationship with the God of the Bible. Peace, holiness. Blessings to each and every one of you.